Hi, I'm Geertjan. I'm from the NetBeans team, and I want to give you a super cool trick here. I'm working on a WordPress site. I don't have the sources downloaded or anything. I'm just working on WordPress within the browser. Now, here's my page, and I would like to inspect that page and get some information about it. NetBeans provides some very nice tools for this. In other words, for a page that is live in the browser right now, that is published and it's running and it's available for the world to see, but still I can benefit from using NetBeans. And I'll show you how. And I'll switch to NetBeans. Here I am in NetBeans IDE 8.1. And I create here a HTML5 application. I click next and I click next again and we'll just take a very simple starting point without any content other than an HTML page. And now we run this application and we're going to run it into the Chrome browser with the NetBeans connector installed into it. So the Chrome browser opens up and we can see that we can connect this uh, Chrome browser now to NetBeans and I'll just change the resolution so that you can see it next to NetBeans right now we we'll see the browser and we can see NetBeans and we've connected them together so that we have a live DOM view here so imagine we had some more content here. You can see that as I click on items in the browser DOM in the bottom left, the related item is highlighted in the browser. And there is also a CSS styles window, which can show me any styles and so on. So I'll just dock this. But the interesting thing is um, within this browser now, where I have deployed my application, I can take this URL and into that same tab, I will now paste it. Now, look what happens. We can click on items right now in that page that is live in the browser and see information about this page within that page. So I can see information about this book, for example. I can see its uh, width and height and uh, information like that. I can also explore that um, browser pane within NetBeans and inspect it and find problems within it. Um, and I can click directly from, for example, this border into the source. And of course, this is read only. Um, I can't change anything within NetBeans because this CSS style sheet is actually um, deployed live uh, to the uh, to the browser as part of this WordPress application, but I can inspect anything that I click on here. So um, here is some text. Now where would that text come from? And we can see here. Here is that content. So we can click from here into the source, and we can see where the um, where the content comes from and inspect our page. So here is background is white. We jump into the source. And now I can see here, this is the, the style CSS. So now when I go into the editor mode of my uh, WordPress site, I can go and find that style sheet and make those changes um, in there. So very quickly, we can navigate from um, the browser and find the related style sheet elements um, with their NetBeans and understand what's going on there. A nice and handy trick for anyone using WordPress. You don't need to have the source code checked out. You don't need to have the source code in NetBeans. All you need to have is the browser open, and you need to have this connection between NetBeans and the browser via the uh, Chrome connector that you can install into the browser, and you're good to go. Anyone out there using WordPress, this is a very handy tip for benefiting from NetBeans.